Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I got another cool little video for you today, guys. Another uh, tool pickup. Uh, I got another set of these Japanese uh, screwdrivers by Vessel. Uh, like I said, I had bought the uh, ratchet last week, the knee purse ratchet, and um, I couldn't get the screws out. So somebody said the fasteners may be JIS, and I never really knew about the JIS uh, fastener before. So I figured, and it says you can use the JIS. Uh, screwdriver and regular Phillips and it'll work just fine so I figured uh, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get the way um, I can have a, a quality screwdriver and be able to use it for multiple applications so I figured I'd go ahead and get this so I got this off Amazon it was probably the most expensive screwdriver set I've ever bought it was uh, $58 and some change plus tax it was like around 60 bucks now the part number for this is 9006 PB this is a, their a Megadora a set. Now they do have some other sets. They have impact screwdrivers and ratcheting ones. They have all different kinds of uh, screwdriver sets, but they've been around since 1913. So they've been making screwdrivers for a long time. So apparently they know how to, uh, how to make screwdrivers. Now uh, these are pretty cool because this is uh, features. It says it has the Jaws fit uh, feature on it. And that is with, uh, has little teeth on the, uh, the tip of it here to help bite into the screwdriver bit and it says that it helps with cam out so I think that that would be pretty interesting just to see uh, if that actually uh, does that uh, again they are made in Japan and I believe they are lifetime warranty on their screwdrivers I'm, I'm not really sure 100% um, now here's the, uh, how they make their uh, process how they make the steel for their uh, materials and it's I guess it's the same way they make their uh, Katana, as it says, huh, the ta Terra story. So that's on the back of here if you ever want to read that. Um, but I, anyway, so it does have a cushion grip here, a hexagon, crossfit sections and corners. It does have some gnarling on the shank, but it does not have uh, the bolster where you can uh, put your wrench on it. But they do make those. That's a different set. And they are magnetic, and they have a black tip black oxide type of fit on them as well it is a six piece set and we got a couple different options here it says uh this one's three sixteenths uh quarter inch uh flat head and then your five sixteenths and then of course on your other side you got your uh your four different sizes or three different sizes here for your uh your phillips uh bits here but uh, this one here doesn't come in a blue molded case. They have other ones that have blue molded cases. But I decided against that because my uh, toolbox is overloaded with screwdrivers as it is. I don't have any uh, kind of room for any kind of uh, cases at all in my uh, box. So so here's a uh, we'll look at the biggest screwdriver because it uh, might be a little bit easier to see here. So there's the screwdriver itself. Let me get it to focus in on here. Uh, having a hard time focusing um, but the vessel name on here it is um, there you go it is raised uh, so it's not gonna that the name won't rub off on it now you do have some uh, gnarling or you know some kind of grip it says non-slip on it so this will help with the uh, the grip on it here and that's every other every other one has the uh, non-slip uh, the the stamping and then the gnarling uh, apostles on there and then each screwdriver is uh, has stamped on their vessel and I guess this is their 900 series and then their 8 by 1.5 and again um, made in Japan the end of it here just uh, like a nice rounded uh, end of it here uh, the gnarling here it's probably about an inch and inch and a half long so it's a pretty decent sized gnarling and the gnarling is good to get uh, plenty of grip on it now the the handle itself, the uh, screwdriver, it's not really a chrome finish. Um, it's you know, a, a satin type of finish on it, but it looks pretty good. And of course, you got your uh, your tip here, and it says that it's a uh, magnetic. I don't know if I have any uh, magnetic fasteners. That's too big. Maybe it'll pick up the uh, maybe it'll pick up the washer. Yeah. So here we go. Just to show that it is a. Uh, it is magnetic. It can pick up this uh, 7 sixteenths washer. So it is magnetic. Tips are magnetic, and that thing was dirty. <laughs> I 
but we're going to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and measure all the uh, ends of them here. Now this one here, it says it's a, a 5 16 just to see what kind of uh, tolerances we're dealing with here. 5 16 uh, and you convert that over to metric and it's uh, 7.9 so this is 8 so this is a uh, you know maybe a thousandth over the 7.9 so this is uh, within a you know within a tenth of a thousandth of where it, where it's supposed to be and then your next size it says is your uh, quarter inch and we are at six and six point two and it's six point six point three is quarter inch six point three five so we're at six point two so that one also is within a tenth of a thousandth and then your last one is your uh is your three sixteenths and that one converted over is uh four point seven so uh I'm gonna get it in here it's not in there 4.7, so it's at 5.7. It's a little. I'll make sure we're at zero here. Yep. Oh gosh, come on. So we're at 5.6. So it's you know it's, it's within a millimeter. So that's pretty. The tolerances are pretty close. Um, now let's take a look at the uh, tips of them here. Uh, it says for the jaws fit. Now I don't see the uh, serrations on the uh, flatheads. If you guys can see that, I'll let you see the flathead here. I don't see the jaws fit, uh, the teeth on the uh, on the flatheads. It all looks just a uh, pretty smooth coating here. So let's take a look at the actual Phillips bit. The Phillips bit is where you see the jaws fit, and you see the serrations, the teeth on the ends of the Phillips bit. So I think. Maybe just the uh, Phillips bits are the uh, Jaws fit ones. So, uh, like I said, you got this one here, and that's a P3, uh, P3 with a one, P3 with a 1.5. So Phillips three, I guess, and then uh, P2, 100 for that one, and then your uh, P1. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just demonstrate this on the uh, the knee purse ratchet with the uh, chewed out fasteners now this thing's supposed to be able to go in there and bite and that one went in there and it bit into the fastener as you've seen uh, the smaller vessel screwdrivers would not uh they were camming out when i was sticking it in there but this bit into that uh messed up fastener and it was uh was able to take it out with uh pretty much pretty easy so these things the, the teeth i believe they do work i would definitely uh recommend these to anybody I could feel it, you could really feel it biting into the, uh, uh, where you could feel the other ones, the small ones camming out. You can actually feel this biting it even into a, a bad fastener. You can feel these uh, teeth biting into the uh, the bolt and being able to grab it and being able to pull it out. So I, I would definitely uh, recommend these screwdrivers, guys, the Jaws Fit ones. These seems to work pretty well, pretty cool. Um, I like the colors of them, too. Um, but that's it, guys. I just want to thank you guys for coming and checking out my video. I uh, just uh, pray that everyone has a great day, a blessed day, and uh, just stay safe and have a great day. Thank you, everybody.